Hey guys and welcome to a tutorial on how to get mapped controllers working with Cube World. This is totally unofficial. I found a post on the Cube World forums and I was quite interested by it so I decided to make this video to share my knowledge. It's totally unofficial. It's unsupported by Cube World at the moment. But this is a way you can get, for example, an Xbox 360 controller to work with Cube World on your PC. Um, it, the same applies for PS2 PS3 controllers that you can also get available for a PC or some of the other cheap NAF controllers that you can buy on eBay for hardly anything. So let me show you the post I found and it is right by here. Okay, so I found this controller support post. It's totally unofficial. One of the guys on here have actually put um, some map sets on here available for the PS3. There's one here also for the Xbox controller, but bearing in mind you do need to get some software to run this and um, the software for this is called Xpadder um, It's not free of course. It's nine dollars and ninety nine that you can get officially from um, The actual developer site, so I'll put a link for that in the in the uh, description below if you want to head on over and get it um, Other means of getting hold of it. Um, I don't really want to mention it, but just google free X mapper on on Google and you might find something for free. Okay, so you can download these or you don't have to download these map sets yourself. Um, I downloaded them, they don't, send, don't didn't seem to work. So what I've actually done, I've set up a configuration myself for XMapper and I'll show you that just in a second, but I'm gonna show you how to configure XMapper now to run with QWorld. So I've already downloaded XMapper. I've had this for a while anyway, because I use it for games like The Binding of Isaac and so forth like that. Um, okay, so when you first open it up, it is totally blank. There is nothing in here like so. Um, you need to make, um, you need to um, get the software to work with your controller. So if you click on this, um, sort of tool sign right by here. It'll bring this controller um, settings up here. And what you can do, you can use the sticks. You can enable here. And what it could do, it'll detect the left stick. It'll detect the right stick. And um, the aim of the game, if you want to put it that way, is to associate the direction with your left analog and your right analog with something that is actually on your keyboard. So what you can do, once you push these around a bit and it knows your keys, it'll put these up here, but they won't have any, any, um, what would you call it? Any sort of letters in there whatsoever, because I've sort of already preset this. So what you can do for move forward, your left analog forward, if you hold, click that, what it'll do, it'll bring up your keyboard and what you can do is click W and it'll put a W for forward. And um, for backwards, you want S and so forth like that. For the right controller here, um, I mean the right toggle, as you can see, my mouse is moving on screen because the software is open. Um, for forward, you can choose this arrow by here, which means your mouse is being pushed forward. And for the back, you also push the back. Um, something I do want to point out, though, is that mouse free is in the center here. That would be for your scroll button being pushed in. Um, in cube wheel, that means to dodge. So I use that as a push in click if you know what I mean on the controller. So let me just show you an example of what I've already made. Uh, we won't save that one. We'll open this up and there we go. I've already got it configured. So I may actually put a link to this in the description also, but it's pretty easy to set up. Okay, so my left and right triggers are gonna be, my left trigger is for my main attack, my sort of weak attack. My second trigger here is for my secondary attack. Um, I just, you know, I just sort of set it the way I enjoy it. So the start button would be zero, as you can see, zero is flashing now, so that'll bring up the main menu. I set select to, t to tab, so I can change my potions. I hold tab, I hold select once, and then push left or right, and that will change my item. It is pretty simple, guys. Um, I don't really want to show you my setup in too much depth. Purely because you can do it the way you want to, but it's really easy to set up. It's purely by clicking on this by here and go into the buttons, make sure the buttons are enabled, like the triggers here, and then go into this screen, clicking on them and choosing what keyboard buttons you would like to have in replacement for this. Um, it's pretty simple as that, guys. Any questions, let me know in the comments below because um, this software is not exactly free, so I'm not showing you like a free tutorial on how to get cube world working with a controller but
but this is a very easy setup to do so. So I want to say thanks for watching, guys. And um, we could actually test this out right now. Let me just open Cube World, and I'll show you it in action, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are in Cube World. And um, because my right analog is the mouse now, I can actually use that control. So let's get into this. My left, tr my left trigger, my f my left one. I think that's where I called or L. A is actually um, my main attack, my bare bones attack. So as you can see, I can shoot like a boss here, and then when I want to do my supercharged attack, it's right trigger and hold and fire. So that's a good sort of setup. Um, if you want to ride your pet, um, it's the analog, which is right, or the the di the yeah the right analog. No, not the right analog. The D pad pushed in the right direction. See all these buttons are making me sound confused now. You know, you can just ride around and, you know, do all your stuff. You know, I've got this, which I am... What the hell? How did I manage to do that? Oh, I think I used my... What are my special attacks in combination with that? So, I've got my... My, my Y button is my Q button, of course, for food. You can finish eating now, dude. I just use my special attack. So I've literally only just set this up as well. So it's a little bit higgledy piggledy at the moment. Um, I'm gonna have to get used to it, of course. To pick up items, it's my shoulder button. I've obviously got too many of those items. What is this? Yeah, so my shoulder right is for my glider too. So I've kind of got it set up how I want it to be. Um, D-pad left is um, crafting, D-pad down is my map, D-pad up is my inventory, and D-pad right is obviously to get on my pet, so I've kind of got it sussed out, it's a little bit hard. Um, well, I wouldn't say it's too hard, but it's a little bit of a little bit of practice and I kind of got it. Anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the tutorial, hope you've enjoyed. Um, I don't think there's anything much more to go in because it's, it, it's all up to you and how you set it up yourself. But in the description will be a link to the XPadder website. There'll be a link to the forum post too on the Cube World forum. So all the information is available for you. I hope this enjoy. I <laughs> what am I talking about? It is so hot in the UK. I hope this um, has helped you somewhat. And uh, yeah, like always, let me know in the comments below if there's anything. I can help you with a questions wise, but unfortunately the software is not free, so but like I said, just Google it and you know you might You might come across something you might want to download. <laughs> anyway guys, I'll see you soon. So peace out.